Hello and welcome to 3 Toto TV. I am Ruchi Sharma and I am Vishakha Thakur. So on Monday cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum experienced a significant crash with a widespread sell off across the crypto market. This downturn was triggered by the Bank of Japan's decision to raise interest rates which strengthened the yen and made carry trades more costly for traders. That's right. Also the negative sentiment was further fueled by geopolitical tensions and you know growing recession fears. So let's cut across to Manoj Dhara to understand how the yen carry trade led to a massive sell off in the cryptocurrency market. Sure, the recent yen carry trade significantly impacted the crypto markets on Monday as investors borrowed yen at the lower interest rate to invest in high yielding assets including cryptocurrencies. The unwinding of these positions caused substantial market turbulence that's what the market analysts have said. A stronger yen driven by the shifts in Japan's monetary policy led to investors to close their carry trades selling of cryptocurrencies to repay yen denominated loans that has actually triggered the fall in the markets this sudden liquidation triggered a sharp drop in crypto prices exacerbated by the already volatile nature of the digital assets so this rapid sell off and the subsequent market correction highlighted the interconnectedness of the global financial markets and the vulnerability of the cryptocurrencies to the macroeconomic events Investors fight to safety amid broader market concerns amplified the declines illustrating the risk associated with the leverage trading strategies like the yen carry trade in the crypto space so if you want to understand the entire yen carry trade we will take you through say for instance you borrow 1 million japanese yen at 0% interest rate and invest in us dollars which is at the rate of 160 per yen versus the dollar for a 5% yield that is the interest rate in the us so then your total yen investments in the dollar is 1 million yen divided by 160 which is close to around 6250 us dollars please remember you still owe 1 million in yen from the place you have borrowed the money your investments will be profitable as long as the value of the borrowed currency doesn't increase significantly or else it would lead to substantial losses let's assume now that the bank of japan increases interest rates to 0.25% following which the yen appreciated to 147 from 160 per us dollar with immediate effect this brings down your total dollar investments to 9 lakh 18750 yen when converted leading to substantial losses of 81250 yen so thank you manoj for sharing all the details the brazilian securities and exchange commission has approved solana based exchange traded fund the agency disclosed in its central database on wednesday well it is the first product of this kind in brazil and among the first solana based exchange traded products globally so the first was launched by switzerland based investment product provider 21 shares on the 6 swiss exchange in june 2021 according to cvm's database the solana based etf is in a pre operational stage so it has yet to be approved by the brazilian stock exchange B3 exactly moving on japanese and western firm meta planet has secured a 6.8 million dollars loan from one of its shareholders mmxx ventures to increase its bitcoin holdings this move follows meta planet's recent announcement to raise 70 million dollars through a stock rights offering with 58 million dollars embarked for bitcoin investments so meta planet's loan carries a 0.1% interest rate per annum and a 6 month term starting on august 8 with repayment in lump If the firm allocates the entire 6.8 million dollars loan to Bitcoin, it could purchase an additional 118.5 BTC at current market prices. Furthermore, Bitcoin treasury firm Semler Scientific has added another 6 million dollars in Bitcoin to its balance sheet, comprising more than the entirety of the medical company's quarter 2 earnings. Well, the purchase reflects an ongoing sentiment or you know the commitment to Semler's Bitcoin acquisition strategy despite the asset recently tapping its lowest price level since February. We can't talk about Bitcoin and don't mention Michael Saylor. Well, Bitcoin maxi Michael Saylor revealed in an interview on Wednesday that he personally owns 1 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, in some that places him in the upper echelon of the BTC holders. Absolutely. Meanwhile, MicroStrategy's average cost per Bitcoin is around $37,000 and the company is planning a 
10 to 1 stock split. The Bitcoin price Wednesday rose to $57,500 handle before dropping back to support around the $56,000 level, which means the company stands on a massive unrealized profit. In another positive news that's going to increase the inflow of funds in the crypto market, United States District Judge Peter Castle has finalized a $12.7 billion settlement obligating the bankrupt cryptocurrency exchange FTX and its sister company Alvida Research to compensate the former's creators. Well, this decision is part of a settlement with the United States Commodity Futures Trading Commission. The filing mandates that FTX Trading and Alvida jointly pay $8.7 billion in restitution to those who incurred losses and $4 billion in disgorgement for gains obtained through their violations. Meanwhile, FTX's proposed reorganization plan targets a 118% return for 98% of creditors with claims under $50,000 based on asset values from FTX's bankruptcy filing in November 2022. On regulatory front, Russian President Vladimir Putin approved legislation to reduce its reliance on the United States dollar in international trade. The law will take effect in November 2024 and allow approved mining firms to register through a state database to mine crypto. So that's quite interesting and small individual miners can also mine digital currency without officially registering if their energy consumption remains below a certain threshold. Oversight of the newly legalized mining industry will be split between the Bank of Russia, the Ministry of Finance and a select cabinet of ministers within the Russian government who will establish more precise regulatory requirements over the coming months. The bill also introduced a ban on mass cryptocurrency advertising inside Russia. So in an interesting update, Donald Trump Jr. has announced plans to launch a new DeFi cryptocurrency platform aimed at addressing inequality in banking access. However, the platform is still in the early stages and will take some time before it becomes becomes a reality. Trump Jr. didn't provide much more details on the platform but emphasized that it would be taking on the banking system. And finally, Hamster Combat, a Telegram-based mobile clicker game, has released more details about its much-awaited cryptocurrency airdrop. All in-game activities will count towards accumulating more airdrop points, according to Hamster Combat's new airdrop section updated on August 8th. So the updated section includes six different sections for accruing tokens, including the player's passive income and completion of earned tasks, achievements, subscription and keys and referrals for friends. However, the airdrop eligibility will also depend on the game cycle, community interactions, overall social activity and the quality of the invited players. So while it is known that success 60% of the HM STR token airdrops volume will be dedicated to players. There are no additional details about the tokenomics. So, if you want to be part of the largest airdrop in history, then get ready to tap away in the hamster combat game, which has already reached the 100 million users milestone in just two months. Exactly. So, that's all in this episode of the Weekly Wrap. This is me, Vishaka Thakur, signing off. And this is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share, and subscribe to 3 TV and for more information stories, log on to our website www3worstv.io or scan the QR code. Have a great weekend.